Question 1. What is the role of root underscore squash option? Answer. All requests from the user root are translated or mapped as if they came from the user anonymous default. Question 2. Explain NFS stat command. Answer. The NFS stat command displays the statistics about NFS client and NFS server activity. Question 3. What is NFS? What is its purpose? Answer. NFS is network file system. It is a file system used for sharing of files over a network. Other resources like printers and storage devices can also be shared. This means that using NFS files can be accessed remotely. NFS command in Linux can be used to achieve this. Purpose of NFS. NFS can be used for sharing of files remotely. Data can be stored on a single machine and still remain accessible to others over the network. Reduction of the number of removable media drives throughout the network since they can be shared. Question 4. What is AutoFS and its advantages? Answer. AutoFS is auto mounting file system on demand like whenever you need it. NFS is like mounting a complete partition remotely and you will have availability of whole content of the partition. But there are few advantages with AutoFS over NFS. Advantages of AutoFS. Shares are accessed automatically and transparently when a user tries to access any files or directories under the designated mount point of the remote file system to be mounted. Booting time is significantly reduced because no mounting is done at boot time. Network access and efficiency are improved by reducing the number of permanently active mount points. Failed mount requests can be reduced by designating alternate servers as the source of a file system. Question 5. What is the default permission applied on the user when you mount a NFS permission on any local directory in your system? Answer. No user permission which is a system account in all the machines having normal user level privileges unless no underscore root underscore squash or any other permission specification is not provided on the share. Question 6. What is the difference between NFS share and a Samba share? Answer. NFS sharing is done between Linux to Linux where Samba sharing can be done between Linux Linux and Linux Windows. Question 7. What is hard and soft mount in NFS? Answer. In hard mount, if the NFS file system is hard mounted, the NFS daemons will try repeatedly to contact the server. The NFS daemon retries will not time out, will affect system performance, and you cannot interrupt them if you just mount a file system without specifying hard or soft. The default is a hard mount. Hard mounts are preferable because of the stateless nature of NFS. If a client sends an I.O. request to the server, such as an Lessler, and the server gets rebooted, in client machine the process will keep on running. This preserves data transfers in the event of a server failure. In soft mount, a soft mount allows the client to stop trying an operation after a period of time. If the NFS server goes down at the time of data transfer, it will alert and the process will do down. This may cause the data corruption. A soft link will return with an error and fail. You should only use soft mounts in the cases where client responsiveness is more important important than data integrity. In another word soft mount will allow automatic unmount if the file system is idle for a specified time period. Question 8. I am unable to mount a NF share. How will you trace out the reason? Answer. Firstly, check that you have permissions to mount NFS share or not. Check ETC exports file. Secondly, you can get RPC error, program not registered, or another RPC error. For this, check your NFS server and potmap service running or not by RPC info P. Question 9. What is the role of all underscore squash option? Answer. Treat all client users as anonymous users. Map all user and group IDs to the anonymous user and group ID. Question 10. Why to use NFS? Answer. A network file system NFS, allows remote machine to mount file systems over a network and interact with those file systems as though they are mounted locally. This enables system administrators to consolidate resources onto centralized servers over the network. Question 11. What is the default port of NFS server? Answer. By default NFS uses 2049 TCP port. 
Question 12. What are different versions of NF server? Answer. Currently, there are three versions of NFS. NFS version 2, NFS v2, is older and widely supported. NFS version 3, NFS v3, supports safe asynchronous writes and is more robust at error handling than NFS v2. It also supports 64-bit file sizes and offsets, allowing clients to access more than 2 gigabits of file data. NFS version 4, NFS v4, works through firewalls and on the internet, no longer requires an RPC bind service, supports ACLs, and utilizes stateful operations. Red Hat Enterprise Linux 6, X and CentOS 6, X supports NFS v2, NFS v3, and NFS v4 clients. When mounting a file system via NFS, Red Hat Enterprise Linux uses NFS v4 by default, if the server supports it. Question 13. What are different options used in ETC exports file? Answer. Below are list of options used in ETC exports file row. The directory is shared read only. The client machine will not be able to write to it. This is the default. RW. The client machine will have read and write access to the directory. Root underscore squash. By default, any file request made by user root on the client machine is treated as if it is made by user nobody on the server. Exactly Exactly which UID the request is mapped to depends on the UID of user nobody on the server, not the client. No underscore root underscore squash. If this option is used, then root on the client machine will have the same level of access to the files on the system as root on the server. This can have serious security implications, although it may be necessary if you want to perform any administrative work on the client machine that involves the exported directories. You should not specify this option without a good reason. No underscore subtree underscore check. If only part of a volume is exported, a routine called subtree checking verifies that a file that is requested from the client is in the appropriate part of the volume. If the entire volume is exported, disabling this check will speed up transfers. Sync replies to the NFS request only after all data has been written to disk. This is much safer than async and is the default in all NFS utils versions after 1.0.0. Async replies to request before the data is written to disk. This improves performance, but results in lost data if the server goes down. No underscore oodle. NFS has an optimization algorithm that delays disk writes if NFS deduces a likelihood of a related write request soon arriving. This saves disk writes and can speed performance oodle. Negation of no underscore oodle. This is default no hide. Normally, if a server exports two file systems one of which is mounted on the other, then the client will have to mount both both file systems explicitly to get access to them. If it just mounts the parent, it will see an empty directory at the place where the other file system is mounted. That file system is hidden. Setting the no hide option on a file system causes it not to be hidden, and an appropriately authorized client will be able to move from the parent to that file system without noticing the change. Hide negation of no hide this is the default. Question 14. What is PNFs? Answer. Parallel NFS PNFS as part of the NFS v4.1 standard is available as of Red Hat Enterprise Linux 6.4. The PNFS architecture improves the scalability of NFS with possible improvements to performance. That is, when a server implements PNFS as well, a client is able to access data through multiple servers concurrently. It supports three storage protocols or layouts, files, object, and blocks. Question 15. What is the difference between hard mount and soft mount in NFs? Answer. Difference between soft mount and hard mount is listed below. Soft mount. Consider we have mounted a NFS share using soft mount. When a program or application requests a file from the NFS file system, NFS client demons will try to retrieve the data from the NFS server. But, if it doesn't get any response from the NFS server, due to any crash or failure of NFS server, the NFS client will report an error to the process on the client machine requesting the file access. The advantage of this mechanism is fast responsiveness as it doesn't wait for the NFS server to respond. But, the main disadvantage of this method is data corruption or loss of data. So, this is not a recommended option to use. Hard mount. Suppose we have mounted the NFS share using hard mount. It will repeatedly retry to contact the server. Once the server is back online the program will continue to execute under 
undisturbed from the state where it was during server crash. We can use the mount option, enter, which allows NFS requests to be interrupted if the server goes down or cannot be reached. Hence the recommended settings are hard and enter options.